So the transfer window is well and truly open right now, and that means players are going to be coming in and out from various clubs. West Ham's no exception to this. We've got a lot of players rumoured to be leaving. Some have already left, and there's a lot of rumours flying around on social media and the media in general about players we could be selling, players we could be signing. Uh, I've been through them quite a little bit this week, and I'm here to give my first edition of the Transfer Roundup for this summer. There's definitely been some new leads this week in terms of the transfer news regarding West Ham. Sky Sports have posted that there's been a rumour of us bidding for a plea from Lagdeur in France. Um, there's also been rumours of Isaac Hayden possibly joining, and a new little bit of news regarding Manuel Lanzini. So all of that I'm going to go into in this video and give my thoughts on it. I'll start off with the rumours regarding Lanzini. This only came up today and it's been circulating a little bit around Twitter. Nothing's really been confirmed for certain yet, but it is slowly becoming quite a common knowledge thing. It says here from the tweet, which was written on West Ham United fan zone, Lanzini think he's challenging the club on an illegal basis on the validity of this two-year option on his contract. Club thinks he can win, so are looking to sell as only a year left. Not confirmed this yet, but ex West Ham United employee will later. Um, Lanzini is now being rumoured to leave the club, possibly, and one of the targets would be River Plate. Uh, he supports River Plate, he, they're from his home country of Argentina. And if he were going back there, he'd be going back for family reasons, which is perfectly understandable. However, if he does want to leave, the reason for leaving is not written in stone yet. It could be regarding the contract. It could be, like I just said, because of his family. Lanzini is a bit of a difficult one, really, because I know he was injured for most of the last season. He came back from his injury, scored a goal. But for the most part, he's turned up every now and again. He's not really... Well, he has kind of stepped up to the mark since Payet left, but not greatly. And if he left, I'd understand it. Also, if he left, we'd get quite a decent fee for him and we could use that towards some other players, which would also be quite beneficial. There is one player who we are kind of strongly linked with who could replace him, and that player is Kostas Fortunis from Greek club Olympiakos. Um, Fortunis is 27 years old, Greek international, and he has some quite good stats. He scored 12 goals last season for Olympiakos as a midfielder, and he probably could be a good replacement for Lanzini. Another player that we are linked with who could add to our midfield is Isaac Hayden, a 24-year-old from Newcastle United. Um, with Obiang set to leave, Hayden's probably going to fill that gap. Hayden is young, he's homegrown, which is two big advantages. And he's also got family in London. His fiance and daughter have been in London quite a lot because I think his daughter's been sick. So just being close to them as well would be a benefit. We have been linked with Andre Gomez as well from Everton, but he is now most likely to choose Everton over West Ham, purely because he spent last season on loan at Everton from Barcelona. He knows the club and they helped him through some mental health and family issues. So if he's going there because of that and because of the personal connection, in my opinion, that's just fair play to him. Um, he's got a good connection with the fans, he liked the club, and I really can't blame him for that. Same as like with Lanzini, if he's going for family reasons and personal reasons back to Argentina, if that were to be the case, I'd understand it and I can't really argue with that. So it's not the first time West Ham players have done that as well. There has been reports from Sky Sports and some other sources on Twitter that we are bidding for a player from the second tier of French football. His name is Alexis Claude Moïse and he's 21 year old who plays for FC Lyon. Um, he's got... 51 appearances for the club and 17 goals. I'm not really sure how we did last season, but the last time we signed a player from the second tier of French football, it was Diafra Sacco, and he well, pretty much excelled for us. He was a pretty good striker. So I'd be happy to take a risk with this guy. I mean, I don't know a lot about him, but maybe Pellegrini can get something good out of him. Pellegrini can be trusted with our budget and can be trusted to get the players right. I do trust Pellegrini and Mario Husselos, the director of football, to get this right and sign some good talent. Um, that's one benefit of us having a director of football is that he has complete control of the signings and that's one of the reasons why we did so well last season in the transfer window. That said, it does have to be noted that they can only work with the constraints of the current budget. So offloading players is going to be essential. They can add to the budget. Say it's now at 30 million, um, we can maybe double that 
and use 60 million to our advantage. Fortuna's definitely would look quite the capture, um, and if Lanzini leaves, I'd be sad, but I wouldn't be sad. He has been a good player for us in the past. He's been pacey, scoring goals, assisting, but in the last two seasons, he started to turn a little bit sour, I think, in terms of his consistency and his performances, and also the injury did not help last season. Um, and also, if we can still get Gomez, I would go for him, but Isaac Hayden would be a decent replacement too, so I don't see why people are getting too up in arms about that. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content from this channel, keep subscribe. To all your West Ham news and information, fresh off the press, just head to from the anvil. Come on you irons.